Hey guys, Two Dogs here, formerly known as SoCal Hunter, now Huntsville Hunter. Made that move from a communist country to a free state. Can't wait to tell you all about uh, all the wonderful things that Alabama has to offer. So what we're gonna do today is talk a little bit about the Glock 43X. Um, you know, moving from California to Alabama has opened up a world of firearm choices for me. Uh, in California, you have a, a, a list of firearms mainly a way to eliminate them uh, that you can carry and after that you're out of luck. Uh, there are no new firearms being added unless they follow the guidelines. So in Alabama, uh, sky's the limit to the firearm you can carry uh, or own for that matter. So the first thing I did was look at new options and the one I came up with uh, out of much range practice and and, and testing guns out and renting uh, guns was the Glock 43X. Uh, and, uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about it right now and why I think it's a great alternative to what I currently carry, which is the Glock 26. Stay tuned. So one of the things I wanna talk about right off the bat is the fact that there are so many uh, new Glocks coming out for the inside the waistband or pocket concealed carry. Um, I had to go through and spend time shooting each of them to see which one felt best to me. And what it came down to was how it gripped in my hand and how well did, was I able to shoot it. And I consider, I, I recommend that all of you do the exact same thing. If you're looking for a new firearm to carry, or just home defense, whatever the case may be, go to your range, rent the gun, see if you like it, see if you can shoot it, and then you can make decisions um, on the purchase, because these aren't cheap, right? Uh, so, as you know, for years and years and years, I've been carrying this as my inside the waistband everyday carry option, and it is a Glock 26. <laughs> as you can see, I have pretty much monkeyed the crap out of this thing. So, um, I love the Talon grips. Why did I put those on? Because I wasn't a big fan of the Gen 3 grip. My, by the way, this is a Gen 3. Why? Because it's what California legally allowed me to carry. Gen 3, no later. So I wasn't a big fan of the grip, so I had to modify it. The beaver tail extension that I added on to this 23 gave me a better purchase. I just like getting my fat hand way up in there, and I was getting slide bite until I did that. Now I'm nice and high. Again, I had to do a modification um, because of the fact that this didn't come with it. I also added some other components as well because I wanted a stronger uh, slide back and I wanted uh, some other capabilities. I have a video on some of the insides that I have done. Um, even my spring, I moved away. I went to the steel spring, a little heavier, so my kick or my recoil when I shot wasn't as much, and that did reduce it. Right, so having the, the, this metal spring rod made a huge difference. So I did things like that, and this was okay. You know, I carried it for years. Yeah, in the summertime it got tough, but when I moved, I was like, you know, maybe it's time to take another look. So one of the things I did is I took the Glock 43 and I took the 43X and I shot them both, and I shot them both. And I'm telling you right now, guys, I don't know what the deal is, but this Glock 43X is really something else. Um, there are lots of videos talking about, you know, the fact that there's some, it's a much slimmer design, it's a single stack, it still carries 10, so I like that with the, with the 26 that carry 10. Um, it's a slimmer slide. Uh, it, great. So this is basically a 43 with about three quarters of an inch extra. Why? Because all of you do what I do. I've seen it. You add extensions, or whether it's a, just a, a, a pinky extension, or you add a couple of round extensions on there, and you actually make this magazine longer. So what are you doing? You're just giving yourself three, three finger grip. Well, why not just buy one that has it? And I tell you, when you purchase this thing, it is, it is fantastic when you grab it. I have fat hands, like I told you, and it's very easy for me to grip and, and, and get a good purchase on. And what else did they do? The things I modified on here. The grip is better. I don't know what it is, but they did a new stenciling or stippling uh, modification on here to where that doesn't feel so 
I don't know, rough to me as before. There's an extended beaver tail, which I was modifying on my 26. Now I don't have to. They also have front, so on the rail, you'll see the biggest difference is, is the coating that they use. And what I hear in the market is that, you know, this rail just keeps getting scraped from Kydex hostelers, so they just went to this. I think it was to save money. I don't know. But now I have two places where I can rack. Now I always rack this way back on this side, so when I racked to load around, but they do have front rail grooves, so I can do it in a number of ways. Um, but same Glock sights, nothing new there, and the insides are the exact same, takedowns the same, all the other uh, items, the triggers the same, but this single stack is, you know, when I do inside the, 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 the waistband carry, it just feels great. Yes, this is a little longer. Some of you are going to say, you can't pocket carry this gun. That's out. Because this guy really sticks out, unless you got some pretty wide pockets, and we're going to talk about holsters next. But this, this was my choice. I recommend you go and shoot it. I'm going to have some video uh, coming up in future releases of me shooting this and, and talking about differences between the two and how they feel. But from a, 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 from a guy who's been shooting Glocks his whole life and having this fatter, I've, I got very comfortable with the wider uh, grip to, to transition into the, the single stack uh, accommodation grip, right? It was, I thought was going to be a disaster for me, and it's turned out that nothing changed whatsoever for me. Okay? So, appreciate you guys hanging in there while I get my videos back in order. It's been a long time. Um, but now we're, uh, the next video I'm going to put in a link below is me shooting this 43.